Hey there, it's October 2023 and I am officially a master composter. Or let me say that again. I took the master composter class. So I have the knowledge to become a master composter until I actually put that into action. Uh, I'm not really a master of anything yet. But in any case, let me just share with you what I picked up and what I'm doing moving forward. I've had a variety of compost bins for years and I am guilty of neglecting every single one of them. About a year and a half ago, I got one of those Verma huts and I've taken pretty good care of that. My worms are mostly still alive and they've produced some uh, good compost for me that I've spread on my dragon fruit and so on. But as far as like a legit hot compost pile is concerned, I just give up on them. And it's because I didn't have the knowledge to keep it going. And so that changed recently. Uh, the city of Chula Vista and the Living Coast Discovery Center offer a master composting class uh, twice a year. And I just completed the one in the fall. Now, if you want to sign up and you live in Chula Vista, that's great. And if you don't live in Chula Vista, they'll take anyone. They want to spread their message and get people to take their greens out of the trash and either into their backyard bin or in the very least into that green bin so they can be turned into compost at a larger facility. So behind me here is a compost bin that I actually got at a discount because my city shaved off a couple bucks from the retail price. It was still a little pricey. It was around $80, but um, it's going to, because of the cost, it's going to make me a little bit more invested. I'm going to feel like I need to get my money's worth. But initially I was looking for a soil saver. A soil saver compost bin is uh, square in shape or rectangular in shape, I guess, and it uh, looks like a big box. Well, my store that I bought my compost bin from no longer carries the soil saver. Instead, there's this thing right here, which is supposed to be the predecessor. I don't know how they're connected, but it's what they're selling now. You may not be able to get the soil saver. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what this is all, right, all about. So this is the Earth Machine. All right, that's a, a fitting name, I guess, but it's a big cylinder. Looks like maybe uh, one of those neglected droids from Star Wars and it's black that's helpful it's two pieces here so right here in the center is a seam that you'll have to put together there's a door down at the bottom that i plan to just keep shut all the time but it's there if you ever wanted to pull out some compost from the bottom and then the lid is really cool i like this depending on how you twist it you'll either open or close the vent so you see these handles right here when you line them up with the arrows like so uh, the lid lifts off if you turn the lid right here into the center the handle actually lines up with some vents so you can get some more oxygen and some more airflow and that's one of the ingredients in your hot compost bin so i just keep it here all the time mostly because i don't want any of my uh, local residents my uh, four-legged local residents to um, have access to this because i've got some good greens in here so let's go ahead let's open it up let's see you'll see some of my gear in the back my wheelbarrow my uh, fancy pitchfork uh, those things are expensive by the way i think that was like 60 bucks that's why Again, I neglected my compost bin because, uh, surprisingly, the cost of entry is a lot higher than, than one would think. But, you know, you could do it for cheap. You don't really need all these fancy tools, but it sure does help. It just makes the job easier. And the easier something is, the more likely you are to stay on top of it. So here's my bin. I'm about half full, and I've been adding a ton of uh, greens and browns. I've actually turned it once already, and this is really cool. If I go around to the correct side... And I clean this off here. I'm cooking at about 150 degrees, maybe a tad bit over that. So that's really encouraging for me because this has only been going now for two and a half, three weeks. Uh, as far as what I'm putting inside here, you'll notice that my entire orchard is mulched. I get chip drop deliveries maybe twice a year. I wheelbarrow all of this mulch into my backyard. And then when I get to the bottom of the mulch pile, I get some really fine browns things that just are like powder well man those are perfect for the compost bin i'm actually at the bottom of a chip drop right now and i'm using those browns in here and so that's been working out really well for me as far as the greens are concerned i have a steady supply of scraps from my kitchen but that's not enough i actually went and uh embarrassed my kids and stopped at starbucks and picked up their old coffee grinds that they set aside for for gardening and i threw those in here and uh and then I went into my chicken coop yesterday over there and I got some fresh chicken poop along with some pine shavings and I threw those in here and since yesterday I went from about 120 to 150 so the the chicken manure and the wood chips were the missing ingredients because 150 is a really hot temperature 160 or higher uh, you'll want to turn your pile and kind of cool it down a little bit because the beneficial bacteria and microbes in there 
will actually die off over 160. So I'm pretty happy at 150. I'll monitor this pile. I'll turn it if I have to. And, uh, and we'll keep going. So let me go ahead and put the lid on. I'll show you another cool feature here of this earth machine. Um, there are these plastic screws. I don't know how long these are going to last, but they're working for me right now. There's four of them. They screw into the ground and they keep this thing secured. So the only way my pests and rodents can get in is if they legit like dig into the ground and underneath, which might happen. Um, and if that does, I'll put down some chicken wire or some hardware cloth to prevent that from happening. But by having these screws anchor my bin into the ground, it keeps it flat and it keeps it from getting tipped over just ever so slightly um, and, and keeps most of the, the pests out. So what I do is I unscrew those four screws, I pick the whole bin up, I move it right next door wherever the open space is, and then I turn my pile that way. I uh, grab my pitchfork and I take all of the material. Obviously the stuff that's on the top will then go on the bottom. And the stuff on the bottom will get brought up to the top. I'll add some water depending on what it looks like. I'll fluff it around and then uh, I have my my turned pile ready to go and uh, that process has been working really well for me so far i plan to get a couple more of these i really like that it's a closed system i've had some open compost bins and it's attracted pests and uh you know i could have a much greater volume if i just do the open open bin but it's just not a good idea for where i am i'm in this suburban urban setting here where um, i already have a lot of pests that come in that eat my fruit and the last thing I need are uh, kitchen scraps to bring even more into the yard. So I know that these things right here can sometimes be criticized because they don't hold a great volume. And as a result, it doesn't maybe get as hot as uh, a larger bin that's made out of wood. But I just showed you what the temperature is. It's at 150 degrees. I mean, can't ask for much more than that. And uh, just overall, you know, it's nice and clean. Not great that it's plastic, but that's how they all are made these days if you buy them off the shelves can't really do a whole lot about that uh, but I'm gonna give this a try I'm gonna see how far I can get with this and, and what the finished product looks like but I will definitely use the compost because here October 2023 I'm at 106 trees or sticks in the ground if you will vines trees bushes uh, that's a lot to keep happy and compost is gonna be one of the things that uh, allows me to do that so Go ahead, see if you can pick up this bin. I'd recommend it, I like it so far. Very few pieces to come loose. The soil saver bin would pop at the corners because it was four pieces that were put together in a square shape. This right here with the seam in the middle, the pressure is going outwards. The thing is likely to last a lot longer. I'd seen some duct taped and screwed soil saver bins um, after a few years and, and I'm hoping that this will last me even longer. So good luck if you're looking for a compost bin, check this out, see if you got it. See if you can order it online if it doesn't it's not carried at your local store. It's working for me though. So uh, I hope you have the same amount of success.